Welcome to DBeaver's YouTube channel. Working with SQL involves both creating queries and reusing existing scripts. The ability to edit and update old SQL scripts helps specialists save time and effort, support legacy systems, and migrate between tools seamlessly. With DBeaver, you can easily import and start using your existing SQL file. From this video, you'll learn three ways to do it. Method number one. Load the SQL file with the main menu. Using the main menu, you can open the existing SQL file from your local disk. To do this, go to File, Open File. In the window that opens, choose any file with the .sql extension created earlier, and it will be opened in the SQL editor. You may notice that your script has only basic highlighting because it's not associated with the database connection. To fix this, Use the drop-down list on the top toolbar to choose the appropriate data source. If you prefer to use a keyboard to a mouse, try the hotkey Ctrl-O, Commando for Mac OS, instead of navigating the menu. Based on the data source, dBeaver identifies the SQL dialect and applies the corresponding syntax highlighting and autocompletion. After opening the script, you'll edit the existing file by default. If you want to create a copy of your script and work on it, select File, Save As on the main menu and save a new file to your disk. Method number two, import SQL with the context menu. The second menu allows you to quickly load the content of an existing SQL file into the SQL editor. Unlike the previous method, this one implies creating a new file by default. Start by creating a new script associated with the specific database connection. Then open the context menu and go to File, Import SQL Script. You can use a shortcut instead of the context menu. To do this, create a new script in dBeaver and press Control Alt Shift O, Control Option Shift O. Using this method, you don't need to associate the data source after importing the script. Your new file is already linked to the database connection. To quickly return to it in the future, you can right-click on the connection and go to SQL Editor, Open SQL Script. Method number three, add SQL files in Project Explorer. The third method enables you to load one or more SQL scripts simultaneously. This can be especially useful in cases where your SQL code is part of a complex system and you don't want to copy or move your files because they need to be accessible to other applications. Using this method, you don't create new files but link existing ones on your disk to a specific database connection. Let's look at how it works. Go to the main menu, Window, and choose Project Explorer. The view that opens will show you all the scripts associated with the active project. Right-click on the Scripts folder and select Create, Link Folder to add several files at once, or Create, Link File to add a single SQL file. After linking your existing scripts, you can associate them with the database connections using the context menu, navigate through them in the Project Explorer, and make necessary edits and updates. Although this method is similar to the first one, it has several advantages. First, you can import not only one file, but an entire folder simultaneously. Second, you don't need to open each file to make them available in dBeaver. dBeaver makes it easy to load, reuse, and edit existing SQL scripts. Now that you have learned three ways of importing your SQL code in dBeaver, you can choose the most appropriate method. To learn more about the SQL scripting capabilities of dBeaver, explore our playlist by following the link in the description below. And of course, feel free to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button so you don't miss new videos about dBeaver and the database world. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video.